Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek at Old Pueblo Coin, and today I have a uh, story to tell you about schemers and scammers. I know that's a favorite topic for some of you. I wish I had John Stossel here to help me out with this one, but in case you don't know, there are people out there who want to rip you off, are willing to rip you off, have no conscience. They want what they consider to be a fast buck, and uh, they're coming for you, your wallet, your money, and or possibly some of your items, and then not paying you one or the other. But uh, you would think that being a coin shop, we here don't have people who try to scam us because we have a decent knowledge level about coins. But there are lots of ways that people still try to scam you and reach out to you regardless of who you are. Uh, evident, evident of that is a uh, call that we got uh, last year that was one of my favorite videos to do where we actually had some high pre pressure boiler room salesman calling to try to sell us silver dollars. Uh, definitely click on the link here and, and watch that video if you haven't seen it. It's just to me, it's one of my favorite little uh, happenings where a guy called to try to sell us stuff and didn't realize we were a coin shop. Uh, recently, we had on Instagram somebody reach out to the shop and say, Hey, you know, I've got these items for sale. What's your buy price? Now, we have people reach out to us all the time for buy prices. Like, what are you going to pay us? Are you buying these? Do you want, what are these? And so, this one it ended up being a little different because uh, the engineer noticed that, well, you know, this this item, uh, when he was just kind of referencing it, he, he also found, the engineer also found it on eBay, and it was the exact same photo of an item, but it was from a different seller. So this uh, Instagram person had had shared their, uh, their so-called eBay store with us, which probably wasn't even their store, it was probably just a photo. Uh, of a storefront that wasn't theirs either. So this was really bizarre. And the other thing that was bizarre is that the pricing was much less on these items than uh, they had just recently sold for on eBay. So it didn't seem to make sense. So there was a couple of different warnings moving in there. Then, uh, because the engineer likes digging into things, he decided to look around and notice uh, on one of his other social media platforms, I don't know if it was Etsy or iCollect or one of these other places where you can you can buy and sell stuff, uh, he, but he had some other like online platform he was trying to sell stuff on. He actually had a photo of an item that was ours that we had sold on eBay, right? So all they're doing is taking photos of things and reaching out. And this was really a you know uh, a gutsy move because ignorant and gutsy, right? He he obviously has no clue who he's taking photos from and where he's sending them to. And at this point, you know, it's really strange because then he's, we, the engineer gives him a price on stuff and he's like, okay, well, what's your price? Even though he gave him a price on individual items, he wanted to know the whole price. And we're like, we just sent him the same price list. Here's the price. And uh, his response was, can you pay today? You know, which is like, and at that point, you know, we're just we're just kind of done and over, over it all. So, but I want to talk more about what's going on out there. So, so some of you have an understanding of the technology that it's, that's at work here, and what's happening. This guy is either just really uh, desperate, corrupt, whatever, or this guy may not be may not be a guy at all. And I don't mean it may be a girl. I'm not like trying to be, you know, equal opportunity here. But uh, this could be nothing but a set of computers. So basically with the technology that's available today, you can actually program uh, some basic computer programming. Basic's the word I'm using. I, I don't know how any of it actually works, but I can tell you what it does. What it can do is it can create Instagram accounts. It can farm those accounts with other fake accounts. In other words, it'll say 40 posts and 3,000 followers because there are other computer programs creating more accounts. Now, the U.S. Mint has talked about this, how something like two-thirds or more than that. It was over half of their, no, two-thirds is more than half, thank you. So two-thirds of their uh, orders are bot orders that they're trying to protect against. They don't want bots. They don't want computers doing this. So you can actually have computers that create accounts, they create other accounts to support those accounts and show that it makes it look like it's a real account, like it has a lot of followers and a lot of activity on it. And then at that point, when they reach out to you, they look more legit but also when they're reaching out to you, it might not actually be a person really on the other end. It may all be AI. It may be stuff that's recognizing what you're saying and is programmed to respond and to try to get you to deposit money into their account. 
Now, th this is going to be more and more and more so as we move forward with technology where you can't trust things that are electronic. And I don't mean that you shouldn't trust anything electronic. I'm just saying there's a whole lot of stuff that's out there that is nefarious. And so you do need to be careful when you're dealing with coins, currency, gold or silver on any digital platform, any of them, right? YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Etsy, you name it. And so here's the thing, right? They're going to play off of usually two things. They're going to play off of either your greed or your fear. Those are the two most common things. Marketing, marketing, marketing. You, you watch commercials and see what they're, what they're getting at, right? They're either trying to make you afraid of something, so buy their product, or they want you to be like, feel really extra special about yourself. Maybe it's greed, maybe it's something else. They want that, the ego driven or the greed driven, right? So maybe there's three platforms there for you to think about when it comes to marketing. But the things to look out for, first of all, there are plenty of people out there you can deal do business with who are legitimate that you already know. There's no reason to ever do business with someone who reaches out to you via DM, a direct message. If they're coming out of the blue at you and like giving you a good deal on something, just just don't, just don't, right? If it's a good deal. This last week I had several customers come in with 18 karat gold chains that clearly these guys didn't know whether it was gold or not because it wasn't. And clearly, and one guy just told me, he said, well, this, you know, this guy down on his luck sold it to him for 50 bucks, which is like, okay. And it was just, it's just fake gold. It's not real. It's not even close. That, that exact same thing works in the digital world, world where they come at you and you say, well, uh, well, at this price point, it's such a good deal. I got it. I got to go for it. Right. So, uh, if they're coming directly to you, if they're high pressure, just run away, you know, just no, thank you. If you're high pressure. Um, also if, uh, it's, if they want payment instantly and if your payment's not refundable, so if you're using, uh, PayPal friends and family and all this stuff, um, that's not refundable. So you have to be really even extra special careful when you go through these processes because you can't get your money back. There's no protection there for you, right? So there are lots and lots of people that you can deal with online storefront or no storefront by the way there's plenty of guys on instagram there's an entire community on instagram of people who just buy and sell and trade silver it's just a collector community right it's the same thing that's on facebook right but at the same time you know you just got to be a little bit more careful about dealing with actual humans and people that you know now one of the other things that was really interesting is uh we were looking at um an instagram platform that puts up scammers and one of the scammers was actually for a local coin shop. And so this this company, whoever it was, the scammer, they stole, they stole, they used the address of one of our local coin shops, not us, somebody else. And they just slightly modified the name. So it actually was not the same name. But if you would have put the address in, a, a coin shop would have popped up, right? And it was someone else. It's not their Instagram account. It's just some people making up some some BS name, you know, some Arizona precious metals and da 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 da. It's like, well, this company doesn't actually exist at that address, you know. So, uh, so there, just people be careful out there. Watch out for the schemers and scammers. Plenty of people to trust. Plenty of people to do business with. Don't get greedy. Don't go on iCollect or OfferUp or any of these other places where all the schemers and scammers hang out. If you're going to shop online with somebody you don't know, you know, at least eBay has really strong buyer protection policies, you know, but these other places, they just really don't. So anyway, listen, be careful out there. I'm Ben the Coin Geek. Thanks so much for watching. Leave your comments down below. Any other tips or tricks you got, we'd appreciate it. All right, take care, guys.